In the restaurant world, chocolate cakes with liquid centers have become passe, but I think they make great desserts, especially to make at home. So I'll make one today starting with the best chocolate you can find, along with a stick of butter. So I've got that melted. And now in this bowl, I've got four egg yolks and four whole eggs, which I will whisk together. And then I'll add that melted chocolate and incorporate it both. On another bowl, I'll put a quarter cup of sugar along with a quarter cup of flour and some powdered chili. Now, this will not make this cake hot, but it does do great things to enhance the flavor of chocolate. Then I'll add the dry ingredients to the chocolate and the eggs, mix those up, and add in a tablespoon of strong coffee or espresso, as well as some vanilla extract. Now go ahead and butter some four or six ounce ramekins, set the oven to 400, and then ladle the chocolate mixture into the ramekins evenly, and then bake them for about 10 to 15 minutes until they rise like a souffle. Now when you take your cakes out of the oven, go ahead and let them cool for a few minutes on a rack. Okay, as you've cooled enough, I'm going to invert it on the dessert plate, do a little shake, and let it come out cut into it and watch that chocolate just ooze out onto the plate and a little whipped cream never hurt anybody and I'll tell you that you can get this recipe by writing to me here at the station or log on to the website and click over to the Kitchen Guy page. I'm Chef Jim. Thanks for watching Kitchen Guy, the tastiest two minutes in television. I'll see you next time.